Hey guys, I'm Andre. I'm Hilton. I'm Tristan. And this is ATV. We're gonna actually try to start catching up on the death battles. Yeah, yeah. it's been a few. Yeah, we've missed a, a couple of them now. Two ones. <laughs> yeah, there's already three out that we've missed. We're on point. <laughs> and we're gonna be watching those. Uh, right now, we're gonna be starting with the Leon Kennedy versus Frank West fight. Uh, which one are you gonna vote for? I'm, I'm probably gonna do Leon Kennedy. I'm yeah, Shut up, oh, I love Resident Evil too. <laughs> we all lose, we all lose. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be all or nothing <laughs> then, most likely. I just don't see how Frank West, the photographer, is gonna be. I'm, my whole thing is guessing that he, because I think he says he has military training. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about military photographers in general. If yeah, they, yeah. I'm pretty sure they do have military training, which is, I don't know if special ops get more training than just the regular military. Yeah, true. Mm. Because if they do, then obviously, Frank, then Leon, I'm almost positive will win. Because Frank will only have basic military training. Well, Leon, Leon Kennedy, Leon. I'm pretty sure, is a special ops. Yeah. yeah he is. And so, like, he's probably of the, one of the best of the best. And Frank's just a photographer. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I need to take the mouse off. Surviving the undead apocalypse takes grit, perseverance, and an army's worth of firepower. With all really? that and some luck, sure. these two became Leon experts in zombies. Special zombies. Yeah. Leon Kennedy, right the top one. cop and yeah, government yeah, agent in Resident Evil. And More special. Frank West, the backyard yeah. wrestling MacGyver of Dead Rising. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to the best find out who would win a mm -hmm. death battle. As a child, Leon Scott Kennedy's father instilled in him a strong sense of justice. Following in his footsteps, Leon joined the police force, determined to uncover the darkest riddles and uphold the law. So, for his first ever assignment, he took the biggest challenge he could find. Instead of picking an easy job like dishing out dastardly parking tickets, he was off to Raccoon City to investigate a bunch of mysterious murders. His instincts were good, perhaps too good. Officer Kennedy so wound up zombies. choosing the most challenging and dangerous assignment he possibly could have. Look at those yeah, turns out yeah, Crash police. Panda Town was due for a big old zombie outbreak, and Leon got stuck in the middle. How's that for hazing the rookie? He wasn't a rookie for long. After fending off the zombie threats and even taking oh, a yeah, the division of security. Hall, Leon was recruited by the American government as a special agent, bodyguard, and their go-to specialist. So afterwards. Events. In all cases, the people that are bitten become infected themselves and go on to attack others. The only way to stop the spread of infection is to destroy the infected's brains, shoot them in the head. His training at the police academy turned him into a pretty tough guy, but as a special agent, he became unstoppable. All thanks to his extensive yeah. firearms training, extreme driving tests, extreme and the driving. study of tactical response scenarios. Guess what martial art they teach American Secret Service members? A traitorous Russian one called Sistema, and Leon is an expert at it. Sistema is a free-form martial art focusing on disabling targets via pressure points and joints. While not specifically lethal on its own, Sistema also involves quite a lot of training with it knives and it. firearms. That's good, because I don't think fists would be enough to take on monsters like the tyrants, skinless dogs, and... Is that Gene Simmons? Right, these bio-organic weapons, or B.O.W.s, were far tougher than your ordinary run-of-the-mill zombie. Thankfully, Leon has the weaponry to take them on. He's efficient with just yeah, it's kind of stuff like gun, that that makes you like think me, that he loves carrying around his favorites, that. including the Silver Ghost, a unique pistol specifically designed for him. He's also got a modified 50 caliber Desert Eagle Magnum, a gift from his father. Lucky bastard, all I ever got from my dad was a sore cheek. While he has no problem dual wielding handguns, Leon is extremely proficient in dealing damage with heavier weapons, such as the M203 grenade launcher or his ludicrous rocket launcher special. This red tipped wrecker of an RPG is far more powerful than an ordinary propelled grenade. The gun itself looks similar to a classic RPG 7 model, first used as an anti tank weapon by the Soviet Union. Since the red grenade is so deadly, it 
It's oh. probably a thermobaric explosive booster, which can launch over 600 feet for a 60-foot wide explosion. That's more than enough to take down one of those bow wows. Leon has plenty of experience with hand grenades, rifles, flamethrowers, etc. But one weapon stands above them all. His knife. Uh, uh, oh, nice oh, yeah. Sword Leon's battle. combat knife is way more than some plain old red cutter. He's practically magic when it comes to his skill with a knife. And if he gets hit, he'll be fine. Probably. I mean, he's wearing lightweight level 3 tactical body armor, which can stop bullets from a magnum and even some rifles. If he does take a hit, he's carrying some healing herbs, which he can also take a hit from, if you know what I'm saying. He's not snorting drugs, Boomstick. Healing herbs have a history of being applied as an aerosol spray or ground up within paper. Well, once Leon became the government's numero uno answer to all of their zombie problems, he was stopping outbreaks all over the world. He had to pull off some awesome feats to do it. He even had to make some horrible sacrifices along the way. Like that poor, poor Ducati. Leon is strong <laughs> enough to crush a skull or even Whoa. force open the jaws of a giant infected shark. Jeez. The shark appears to be similar in size to a great white, which infected has a bite shark. strength of nearly oh two God. tons of force. That shit's crazy! And speaking of which, that's the thing that I'm pretty sure Leon's Frank. I don't know about the Resident Evil 4, was it? That came back in? You know, they're Whoa. like really big rocks. You would know that. Well, he fought Chris Redfield to a standstill, the famous boulder puncher himself. And while Leon doesn't seem to have Chris's brute strength, he did push over this giant rock with a little help. Leon is pretty quick, too. He's dodged bullets, a moving laser grid, and even outraced this tire, which, according to the Inside of Biohazard Guide, could run up to 43 miles per hour. He's even thrown his trusty knife fast enough that this creepy guy didn't even react until, uh... The average time for a person to perceive and react to movement is a quarter of a second. Leon appears to be about 30 feet away from his target Salazar, meaning he threw his knife around 80 miles per hour. The average speed for most world-class knife throwers is only 35 that miles per hour, good. so he's more than double that. Leon is tough having survived blows from various large and burly B.O.W.s. He even matched the strength of Umbrella Agent Jack Krauser. Krauser was strong enough to perform a 30-foot vertical jump. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Most, making Krauser potentially 15 times stronger than the average man. At this point, let's well, just say that Leon is basically super yeah, human. It's like something. he has zero yeah, weaknesses. Oh, country, right. boomstick. Leon Sounds has like his Captain America. America. He's just just pretty gullible, oftentimes you. tricked by those wilier than himself. So, save yourself. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I said? Like her? You think he just might be trying to get laid? Lord <laughs> knows I've done a few dumb things on that quest. I don't know about his chances, though, rocking that hairdo. But after more than 15 years of nightmarish catastrophes, Leon's mental state has become more fragile and more reliant on alcohol. Ah, you and me both, pal. He always needs a little chaos in his life, and when it comes down to it, that's what makes him okay. such a friggin' badass. Better try a new trick, because that one's getting old. <laughs> I don't know how Frank is gonna be. Um, Frank versus Upon normal. First impression, Frank West seems to just be your average journalist, but he's far more than that. I'll say he's covered wars, you know. As a photojournalist, <laughs> Frank will regularly go. He's covered wars, 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 you know. To well, not gonna punch the president. It was this ironclad determination which led to a mall in the town of Willamette, Colorado, where he found the zombie apocalypse. What? Did you just say zombies? <gasps> but Frank's down to rough up dozens of zombies Jeez. every now and then. And with his wrestling history and battlefield experience, he's got the skills to do it. Despite never having fired a gun at another person before Willamette, Frank discovered he's a natural when it comes to firearms. He's handy with all sorts of guns, like pistols, shotguns, machine guns, oh. and a beautiful minigun. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's even got a silver ghost, a unique pistol specifically designed for government agent Leon Gant. Hey, wait a minute. But bullets can only last so long against a never-ending zombie what? horde. Me calling so you with a to improvise. And thanks to being in a shopping mall, he has plenty of options. From obvious choices like sledgehammers. So they're gonna use the custom to out of the stuff, box right? Like shampoo, lipstick, lawnmowers, and a shotgun. <laughs> Frank has an uncanny <laughs> <ability> <laughs> to effectively weaponize 
pretty much anything he gets his hands on. Garbage, I forgot food, about this. You name it. this guy just I don't know why. Like, like they would actually use potential. his he ability to make anything into a weapon. weapon. His primary camera appears to be a Nikon D100, which has a flash color temperature of 6000K, or crystal white. When used up close, it's nearly as effective on the eyes as a flashbang grenade. Anyway, Frank survived the zombie horde with flying colors. His next step was obvious. Profit from it. He became famous overnight. He was named the Hero of Willamette, hosted a TV show, and scored all sorts Whoa, of endorsements. Flex. His love of using baseball bats to smash zombie skulls in even landed him a great commercial deal with Deadwood Pro Baseball. Damn, so he's making tons of money off of killing people. My dream. I know, right? All these zombies were technically people once, so when you really think about it, this whole situation is pretty freaking awesome! Ah, oh, live in the dream, buddy. You earned it. Uh-huh. Anyway, fame is a fickle mistress, and it wasn't long until Frank's 15 minutes of fame were cut short. He eventually became a college teacher, but not before several more encounters with the undead kind. And the more he fought him, the more creative he got about it. Hmm? Frank's greatest asset is his impressive ingenuity. With nothing but his blood, sweat, and tears, and a shitload of duct tape, Frank perfected the art of combination weapons. Like the okay. paddle saw, where he took a kayak paddle and strapped on the oh chainsaws for a rip roaring good time. The electric crusher is That'd be really heavy. I don't think he'd be able to. With the weight of a sledgehammer, crafting a mule near for mortal. The Blitzkrieg is a freaking wheelchair. Did you play that right now? Yeah, I have the second one. That's like the only one I played. Now. I know of. Yeah, I watched the three. He can make a laser sword by so. sticking a gem into a flashlight. Don't ask me how. And the Reaper is the unholy union of sickle and samurai sword. Wow! And all that is just scratching the surface. He's even got combo vehicles like the Exo Suit. That's a super which shoots ice tornadoes? Talk about cool, fun intended. Uh, even stranger, Frank has used an arcade machine to miraculously copy some of the powers of fellow Capcom characters. Then no, oh, come on. Oh. No, he's not magic. These powers come directly from costumes most commonly obtained from the machine. For example, he can don Ryu's key to perform hurricane kicks, or make yeah, an armor complete. No, he can copy. Uh, uh, he can copy. Uh, changes. Uh, Sadly, Frank eventually was caught by zombies and wound up becoming another mindless slave of the undead horde. But it's okay, he got better. Frank has pulled off oh, a lot uh, of impressive feats, despite having little formal training aside from maybe a three-day combat journalist crash course. Oh, he again? He's killed. So it's a superhuman almost to someone that kind of has powers. History. He's really yeah. strong too. He can pull a zombie's limbs and head off no problem. And in the exo suit, he's pushed around a two-ton car. Okay, the exo suit seems to like a long falls and devastating oh, helicopter crashes with little issues. And he's quick enough to catch up. Ah, oh, this is making more seem like Frank is gonna win because ingenuity is always huge. Hop off zombies' heads like a ninja thing. so well that the zombies barely even notice. Wait, they don't notice that he's literally jumping off their heads? How the hell does he pull that off? Very carefully. But Frank is They're zombies! That shouldn't count as a thing. Yeah, they don't care if someone's on top of them. Probably just will try to bite you. Including Lance Corporal Calder, the world's first intelligent soldier zombie. Also, I think it's important to note many of these feats were performed in a span of 72 hours with no sleep or rest. According to a study on sleep deprivation in 2010, an average human's physical and mental health begins to severely deteriorate after 36 hours of no sleep, resulting in disorientation and even hallucinations. <laughs> Here I thought heavy drinking was the only way to legally hallucinate. Well, time to binge Netflix until I trip ball! Whether by inhuman stamina or just a shit ton of adrenaline, Frank was in peak condition for twice as long as he should have been. There's that journalist determination again! Sure, he may be a bit of a self-serving asshole, but he pulled off the impossible. Uh, I don't know who's gonna win though. <laughs> but you got the hacks like him. <laughs> Always a survivor. Snag your very own disposable digi cheap disposable cash. It's fantastic. I mean it. Seriously. I need a raise. Oh. All right, the combatants are. Oh. So let's debate once I'm and for all. 
But first, let me tell you about how you can be the MacGyver of the kitchen. So we skip this? Or just apply the thing? Ugh, alright. I know, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe Frank. So I'm, I'm probably gonna switch to Frank. I'm not. Before this. But just because I feel like everything that Frank has done. It's just the zombies, right? The, like the, the zombies in Resident Evil 2. They can't really do seem, anything. Seem like they're probably just as strong and have just as much, like. I guess, uh. I don't know, it's just. It seemed like. Obviously yeah, he's not, obviously he's, there's, it's physical strength, mm -hmm. like, being superhuman against someone that can do a lot, I guess. It's more, yeah. it's ingenuity against physical P. Yeah, skill. That's, that's how, that's the difference, it's skill be, be against ingenuity. Yeah. yeah. Basically I'm just going with that his skill will just, uh... This help like people... him so much because of the fact that his skill has been able to deal with huge, strong, fast, like monsters, and actual, yeah. Like, and yeah, and then there's the other guy, the guy that was also just like jumping thirty feet into the air that he was yeah. able to like, fight. So <sighs> against other another person that's superhuman versus ingenuity. Also. This one seems is so a little I, harder. That's why I'm I'm gonna go with Leon still. I know I might be wrong though, because they have Death Battle has shown him the other day. Oh, different art that like he would be able to handle different art. Yeah, it's very much of whoever wins. It seems it be it makes sense to me, kind of, because yeah. both of them have such easy, like easy uh, ways to kill each other. I think. Yeah, they have an advantage. If Frank gets like, a hand on something, like Frank, ca Frank has. I was gonna say Castle because of Punisher. Frank has so much uh, different like things, like his lightsaber thing, the mech suit, mm -hmm. and so just having swords. And then they, they, if they especially add the, the mecha suit, the video game characters. Yeah, the um, one with yeah, that's I think that's too especially weird. the I don't they didn't show the Dante one, which I think is probably he's literally one of the strongest. Once they put video game characters in it, I got really. Uh, that was... Like Mega Man's Mega Buster, they had they added. In the... Yeah. I think... yeah I don't if know. they add that in this, I don't know. Just honestly. pick one. You gotta pick something. Yeah. I'll go with Frank. I'll go with Frank. <laughs> All right, so I'm going with Leon. With the complete, Is it 3D? Oh, I was hoping it's 3D. I know. It's both 2D, but they're trying to make it look 3D. Sweet! Yeah. Just what I was looking for! I think it would be better in 3D. What are you doing? No one's supposed to be here. Nowadays, the only ones that are 3D are, uh... The, uh, the finale. Which is like... You can react to it. Obviously, they're, like, really trying to get better at the 2D, like, a lot. Like, how this looks, like, some of the sprite work is amazing looking. Almost to the point of 3D, but 3D, I still feel, is slightly better. Ooh, okay, wrestling. Oh, you can take a hit. Oh, shit. Oh, there's the arcade. Yeah, they turn on the arcade, like... Like, can he craft it really quick though, that's the thing. They added zombies. I don't know why, I just didn't think zombies would actually be in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, oh shoot. They're fighting zombies and themselves. Against each other. It's nice skill though. I'm sorry, I wish I could go for Leon, but give it up, man. You can't keep up with me. Wanna bet? I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh, That's not nice, smart. I feel like his weakness is the part too. Ah, oh, there's that one. Oh. oh. There it goes. Oh. 
They actually allowed it to. Why not just move out of the way? Oh! We can get some herbs. Is this the mecha scene now? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Why not chill out? Oh no, it's RPG. He's gonna shoot it down right now. It's freezing. What you got out of it? I don't know, be on my win. Did he win? Yeah, I think so. Damn, he lost it too. Yeah! Oh, no! Strategies and endlessly creative arsenal certainly put up a good fight, but in the end, Leon just had him beat in nearly every other category. Yeah, I know. It was one tough cookie, but Leon's superhuman abilities were just more impressive. Frank's pushed the two-ton car, right? Yes, which is similar to Leon holding back the shark's two-ton biting force, but his boulder feat was much more impressive. By comparing the boulder's size to Leon, it appears to have weighed around nine tons at minimum. While Leon did have help pushing it, even half of nine tons is much heavier than anything Frank's lifted or pushed. Leon and Frank seemed equally tough, but Leon was definitely quicker. Bullet timing, laser dodging, and hell, Leon's speed and precision with his knife on its own is more impressive than any speed feat Frank's got. But in the end, the most important question was whether or not Leon could cope with Frank's insane weaponry and unpredictable creativity. Yeah, but I feel Leon like that was. seen plenty of crazy shit in his career, and <laughs> had lots of surprising and off-putting monsters. His years of formal training and more consistent combat records certainly lent him the experience needed to win. He's survived numerous battles with enemies powerful enough to one-shot him, and he's shown plenty yeah, of creative sense. strategy and critical thinking mid-fight. Like when he fought Tyrant Glenn, using momentum from his own injuries and throwing a friggin' motorcycle through the air! Leon was just too fast, too strong, too experienced, and too badass. He was frankly... Oh, we lost! I knew I should have gone with Leon! Oh, we should have all went for one person. Should have stuck with the gut. We know what the next one is because we're going to react to it right now. Yeah. It's uh, Dr. Fate vs. Dr. Strange is next. Oh. Yeah, I... I'm excited for that one to see how that feels like. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, what do you think was... of that fight, everybody? That was great. <laughs> been, I don't know. For me, it could have been either way. Yeah. What the? For me, it's just like I just I'm just glad that he stopped it. Now we're gonna have to get the video. But yeah, it was very much of I was. I knew that he had a lot of stuff. It was the ingenuity was the only thing I feel could have gave him an upper hand. Mm -hmm. but other than that, every aspect physically. Yeah, Leon had. But chance. the thing is, yeah, it, which it makes sense. Like he he has versed so many uh, other monsters. Like one people that can one shot him. So a yeah. person that can one shot like Frank doesn't seem like he would be that different. So like, what it made sense. Yeah, that was what I was hoping on was like Leon bursting so many different things that were just so much stronger than himself and things like that that it would give him the edge on someone that just had some creative toys that he was playing on pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's it for yeah. now. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to catch more of our videos, and for this, the new death battle, the next death battle that we're going to watch, and comment down below on any series of videos you want to see us, us watch in the future. So that's it. See ya. Bye. Bye.